Hi, Steve and Caleb with Brownells here. Today we have another edition of Smithbusters for you. Caleb, what are we looking at? Today we are talking about cold blue, specifically uh, that cold blue is just as good as hot blue in terms of durability. No. No, I'm just gonna say no right now. I'm gonna. I, I agree. No, but we we gotta we gotta tell them why, Steve. Okay. Can't just okay. say. Okay. Well, no. as you know, hot bluing puts a layer of black oxide on the steel. Right. Builds it up in the process. It runs at what 290 degrees, something like that, yep. give or take. Yep. Pretty durable finish, and even bluing, even the good bluing, is uh, able to be taken off. You know, through wear and tear. Right. Or rusted through. If you sweat on it, get a coke spilled on it, get some blood on it, it's going to come off. Right, and cold blue, obviously not put on at a higher temperature. Right. Hence the name, cold blue. And because of that, uh, it's not nearly as durable. It's basically just a chemical reaction on the very top surface of that steel. And uh, it's pretty easy to wear through. I mean, it's, it's cold blue is not meant to re-blue a firearm with. Right, although people do it. People do it. Um, but they're taking a uh, downgrade in their durability whenever they choose to go that route. And it's a lot harder to do because getting it all to match evenly that's, that's the thing. Yeah. is a pain. And it usually doesn't look as good cosmetically as hot blue as well. So that's another big downside. Now, I've seen some nice cold blue jobs, but mm -hmm. they had hours and hours invested in it. They yeah. really did. Yeah. And not saying that hot blue is easy. Um, but you could get a much better finish with a little bit less, if not the same amount of effort. Right, but I've seen cold blue finishes that, you know, water would beat up on it. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just totally in, uh, impenetrable. Yeah, but, but not durable. Yeah, to say it's even close is just crazy. It's, yeah. it's not even close in terms of durability. Now, I will uh, go on to say that uh, cold blue is great for touch up if you get a scratch or a oh, nick yeah. on your gun. It is great, it protects the bare metal. And it uh, blends things in sort of well, so you don't notice that nick as much, and it doesn't hurt as much. Yeah, so it definitely has its place. So, you know, there you have it. If you have any experiences with, uh, with cold blue or you have anything you'd like to add, feel free to leave us a comment down below. We'd be happy to hear from you. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time with another edition of Smithbusters.